Hi, today I'm going to explain how I learned Italian in one month for the Team Polyglot Challenge. Um, so before I start, I just want to say that when I say I've learned Italian, I've not learned it to fluency. I, I can't really say that uh, I speak very, very well. I can speak kind of comfortably about a, a, a small range of um, topics. But by no means have I mastered the language or anything. But I can say that I've developed a degree of um, facility in speaking. I have a good understanding of the grammar. And uh, I have a pretty decent basic vocabulary. So um, I want to explain how I went about uh, doing this in one month. Uh, so I started on March 3rd, finished on April 5th. I'd say in total... I would not have spent more than 100 hours, um, actually probably have spent about maybe 50 hours or so, maybe a little less even, um, learning Italian, studying actively Italian. So first, let me start off by telling you my biggest assets. Um, so def these are in order of importance. My biggest asset was um, Spanish and French. So I, I already have a knowledge of these two languages to a pretty advanced degree. So um, what I've learned from my experience is that Italian is really pretty much a combination of Spanish and French. There's so many um, aspects of these two languages that are uh, so, um, that are almost the same with Italian. For example, I didn't have to go through the pain of learning that in Italian you don't use, there's no um, simple past tense, well actually there is in one part of Italy, but the the Italian that I learned is, um, if you want to express a past action like I did, or I wrote, or I did my homework, for example, you wouldn't say I did my homework, you would say I have done my homework, which is the same exact thing uh, that you say in French with the passé composé. So that was completely already natural to me, so I didn't have to go through um, grammar explanations, I just had to learn conjugation. Also, Italian, like French, uses the verb to have, um, as the auxiliary verb to have, like when in, in English when we say I have a pen or I have a book, uh, we also use the same verb to have to say, oh, I have gone, I have been to Italy, I have learned Italian, things like that. Um, so that was natural to me. The concept of subjunctive was very natural to me. All the verb tenses, very intuitive for me. Present tense, past tense, um, pluperfect tense, uh, Conditional tense, future, future conditional, um, conditional perfect, past perfect, future perfect, subjunctive, past subjunctive. All these things I know very well from my studies of Spanish and French. Also, vocabulary. There's so many cognates between Spanish and Italian and French and Italian and also English and Italian. So maybe I should even put English on this biggest assets list. But there are just so many cognates that um, I can, my, my reading comprehension uh, probably right now um, is definitely above 50%, definitely probably above, above 65% even. So there are just so many cognates and the grammar is almost identical between these three besides for uh, besides a, a few um, exceptions, but in, in general the grammar concepts are the same. Second biggest asset, the internet. So what did I get from the internet? Of course dictionaries, verb conjugations, also um, YouTube channels. So uh, two YouTube channels that were very helpful for me um, were Alberto, Alberto's Italian channel. Um, so Italiana Automatico is his, is his channel. Uh, so, so this is him. Riguardo al mio metodo che vi sto offrendo per imparare italiano. So, so he was very useful. I used him, and then at the beginning, I I I used this um this this one guy's channel to learn conjugations. Uh, here it is, Tom. So Tom T X X Y T U. He was useful. I only used him for maybe 
uh, a few days, but he gave me basics in grammar like the present tense, verb conjugations, things like that. So he was very useful. Um, in addition, I got from the internet uh, Word, wordreference.com, which is my go-to dictionary, highly recommended, wonderful dictionary. Also, from the internet, about.com, um, lots of useful grammar explanations. Uh, for verb conjugations, I also used about.com. Um, didn't really use that. Uh, so mostly for grammar explanations and um, verb conjugations, I used the internet for. And then my third biggest asset was Senora Mendelssohn, who... Um, is a teacher in my school, native Italian. She's, she used to be a Spanish teacher, now she's part of administration, but she's native Italian, so I would go and ask her um, if what I was saying is correct. I'd ask her to correct things, so she was very use, uh, very helpful, um, always willing to help, help me learn and uh, help correct me, uh, and gave me very useful advice. So I greatly appreciate that, and she helped me achieve that. Um, I don't want to say perfection, but she helped me make sure that everything that I was saying was 100% correct. So, um, I, it's very useful to have a native speaker. Of course, uh, it's not always possible, but I was fortunate enough to um, have her. And uh, just mention she was, you know, one of the main reasons that I first started learning foreign languages. So, um, I thank her a lot for everything she's done for me. Um, so now I'm going to talk about strategies I used, and these are also in um, order of importance. Um, so the, f the most important strategy that I think I, I applied in learning Italian was writing, which I had never really done before when learning languages. So what I mean by writing is, what I do is, I'd write in Italian what uh, things that I would say in in English so I would write in Italian as if I was speaking in English this achieves a couple of things one it lets me <coughs> express myself the way I'm uh, I naturally express myself in English using the vocab that I use using my uh, my sentence structure things like that things things that I'm accustomed to as opposed to taking sentences from grammar books, taking sentences from Italian courses that are not my own words. So these are my own words translated into Italian. The second thing it helps develop is memory because um, if you want to develop fluency, you have to practice saying things. So what I would do is I would write down, um, like, I, like I mentioned, I would write down in Italian how I would speak in English, and then I just practice this. I'd say it over and over again, and until I could recite this whole thing without pausing, without stuttering. So this way, I developed fluency in saying, in um, in expressing myself with the way, uh, with the words, and uh, in in the way that I would express myself in English. So I have one page, two page, three pages, three pages and a half. So like three pages and a half. You'll, you'd be surprised how much I, uh, I I got from these three pages. So if you want, I'll I'll, I'll read you something. Oggi è la seconda volta, il secondo giorno, secondo giorno che scrivo in italiano. Voglio fare una lista di tutto quello che imparo ogni giorno in modo da ricordare le tecniche che ho utilizzato. So, um, Signor Mendelssohn, help me correct these. Um, so how I would do this is, um, grammar wasn't really a huge problem for me. If, so as you can see, like um, maybe there are less than 10 grammatical corrections on this page, and it only got less as, as, I, as I kept going. So um, you, the grammar really wasn't a problem for me. It was just little things like contractions that I had trouble with, things like that. Um, so minor things. So basically what resource that I, uses, that I used for this, um, were uh, the this table was very useful. This is a table that I got from the Cortina course, Cortina Italian, which I have uh, as a PDF. 
it's, it's good. I didn't use the course at all, really, uh, maybe the first lesson, but I used the grammar section that they have in the back of the book to get this chart, which was really useful. I went back to it I, a countless number of times. This is basically a table of contractions. So these uh, right here are prepositions, and these are definite, indefinite articles, definite articles, actually. So you can see Italian has lots of contractions, which I didn't bother rote memorizing, which I'll talk about later. I used like an interleaving technique to um, kind of just absorb these as I went as much as possible. Um, so this was a very useful chart. Also, I used the word reference dictionaries to get vocabulary. And if I wasn't sure about how to make a certain grammatical construction or use a certain idiomatic expression, I'd Google it. So next thing, next strategy I used was selective learning. So this was a very important strategy I, I used, and this is a big factor in why I sound so fluent. Not, I, I don't want to say that I sound really fluent or anything, but I sound pretty comfortable speaking um, in the Italian video that I posted.